Water is precious for farmer Wang Yongxian. The small tap in his home runs for just four hours a day, forcing him to store what he can. Wang's village, Nanxin Zhuang, lies in the mountains outside Beijing. He tells me that for the past few decades, it's been drying up. Drinking water is an issue for us, and we can't grow crops, he says. Severe drought is a problem across China's north, but now salt water from the Bohai Sea is part of the Chinese government's solution. Desalination plants like this one outside the city of Tianjin will soon dot China's coast, costing the government at least $3.3 billion. The Bohai Sea's water is full of sediment and salt, but the plant's filters make it fit for use. A neighboring coal-fired power generator needs that desalinated water to operate. The sheer size of this plant is simply overwhelming. It's a testament to the lengths that China must go to to generate water and power for its crowded, bustling cities. And what's been constructed here so far is simply phase one of this project. The completed plant will be five times larger than this. For now, the desalination side of the plant is running at half capacity. Its water is relatively expensive, so cities aren't lining up for it. Not yet. Fresh water is one of our most important natural resources. If it is very scarce, it becomes indispensable. Simply put, as China becomes more desperate for water, the cost of desalination won't matter so much. A depressing thought for some. Desalination uses lots of energy to produce filters and then to process and transport the clean water. The byproducts it creates, like concentrated seawater, contains lots of heavy metals. The plant supporters contend it's relatively green. Excess salt isn't dumped, it's dried and sold for industrial use. At a new city park a short drive north, the debate over desalination seems like an afterthought. Some of their water already comes from the Tianjin plant, and like the rest of China's parched north, demand is only set to grow. Celia Hatton, BBC News, Tianjin.